Hello. Good morning. From Andover. Another worst town on our list. Number 19th worst town in England, yep. supposedly. Right. <laughs> So um, quite hard to park here in a motorhome, I'll warn you. We did struggle, but then we were lucky, so yeah. you can be lucky. There's a car park and it's got a height barrier on, which would have been perfect. Mm, yeah. Just slightly out of town. Uh, there's a bigger one in the middle of town, but it is pretty busy. We got lucky. Well, I've got a little bit of hope for this one, actually. Yeah, I have as well. It's just, I don't know, we're getting, I think we're both a bit tired today. Yeah. So we're going to be struggling to be upbeat, <laughs> but we'll try our best. Right, I did see this online, Mazzy. Oh, I haven't seen this. That's nice. Isn't I believe. It? How many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I, I don't. I've lost count. I think there are ten or eleven <laughs> or twelve. Ten. I think it's all different <laughs> eras over the years. <laughs> Fourteen, thirty-five, twelve, twenty-five. That's a nice little touch for the centre of town, isn't it? It is nice. Yeah. Very clean as well. I think it'd have a lot of muck in between the tiles, but it looks lovely. Yeah, I like that. A lot of very wide walkways. This is a huge square, isn't it? It's huge. Yeah. You know the, the width of the street. It's a market town, actually, isn't it? I think it is a market so town, yeah. This is where I imagine the market would be, wouldn't it? Don't know. Don't know. It's just loads of vast space and nothing in it. I think there's going to be a tiny little bit of character here today. Well, that reminds me of a lot of places. Everyone seems to have one of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a town hall, I think. That's what I'm guessing. Let's have a look at this lantern. This yeah, looks nice. nice. It's got a couple of fish wrapped around it. Can you see them? Or other drag? No, they are fish. They are. Fish. It's massive. <laughs> Absolutely massive lantern on top. Sounds like Queen Victoria. Yeah, it? that's what they all are, and it's a it's a fountain for the Jubilee of Queen Victoria. That's what they all are. Honestly, <laughs> the amount of work what were going on that year, planting these all over the country in every single town and village, <laughs> big ornate statues. <sighs> right, where do you want to go now? The place is actually quite big, isn't it? It is big. It's a lot bigger than where we've been the last couple of days. Yeah, let's let's go up here. I think there's about I think it's about thirty-five thousand population. Oh, I see some homeless. Oh, I don't like seeing homeless. We haven't seen a lot so far, actually. No, we? not many, not many. No. So we've just been in Clinton's card shop. I always struggle for a car to get a real nice one. But anyway, what would you say? I oh, was just about to say, uh, we found out it's Mother's Day at the end of March. Yes. So don't forget your mothers for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mother. That goes for you. Yeah, I've just you done it. You have to I've buy one. No, I've just done it now. You're not doing that again this year. You're not. You're not. Happy Mother's Day, Mother. No. Hope you have a lovely day. It's pay day. That's the day Mazzy always goes into the charity shops. Oh, I'd forgotten it was payday, thank you. I've just... I just saw a fire trap jacket in there. It was quite yeah. nice. 15 quid in a charity shop. But to be fair, they did have a lot of stuff on sale in there. Two quid and stuff like that. British Heart Foundation, honestly, it's a charity shop, but it's a rip-off compared to all the others. 15 quid, that's not helping the poor, is it? We found a wimpy. I haven't seen a wimpy since about 1985. <laughs> One of my favourites. <laughs> I love wimpy. I thought they went bust we years ago. We should go there later for well, a meal. You know exactly what the food's like. That's yeah, why we don't good. hear of them anymore. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> this chantry centre, we've had a look at this. It seems to go all the way down. Really modern looking building, but it doesn't look very nice, does it? Yeah, it looks nice inside. Oh, not on the outside. No. Should we have a look in? Nah. Let's just... look at these. What are these? Look. Oh, wow. Oh, is this. It's a hairdresser's. For kids? A hairdresser's for kids, and they've got little, like, spaceships to sit on. And, and VW. There's a VW there. <laughs> that is incredible. That's just for kids. Amazing, isn't it? That's well, real fun. This is the mirror, and it's like the back <laughs> of a car, at the front of a car. <laughs> really nice. Yeah, what's this called? Children's haircut. J4K. 
That's really good they've dedicated because really doing the kids so is hard, isn't it? Let's go in here. Let's just Keeps them out of the proper gents hairdressers because they do me head in. You know, when. No, you go into gents. You're a child once and you still are. You okay. go into gents hairdressers and there's a woman in there with a three year old. <gasps> Take her to women's hairdressers. You don't want kids in there. No, I'm sorry, but a, a gents hairdresser. <laughs> A gents hairdressers is a sacrilegious place oh. for us men to meet up and have a good chat about women and mourn. That's the first old place we've seen. It says hair by John, as if it's a hairdresser's, but it's actually a little... It's a store. news agent. It's like a little store, yeah. It's a beautiful building now, isn't it? Yeah. Now, there is a church around the corner. I'm <laughs> guessing we're going to come to some older stuff now. Yeah. At this end. Yeah. Actually, I think I read a story about the angel. Some ghost stories. Or is it a pub? I think it's like a pub, hotel, whatever, yeah. So in the angel, check out the people who've stayed here. King John, how cool. Henry VI, Catherine of Aragon, James II. All the kings and queens have stayed here, has it? I know. Are you... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's quite a cool place. I'm trying to see if I can find my story on it, but I mustn't have kept it. I don't know why they've moved this. Right. This is an original Norman arch from 1150. Very nice. It used to be the doorway to the old parish church just around the corner. Should we go and have a look? We'll have a look. No, up here, I mean. Yeah, but I haven't finished my story yet. Oh, sorry. Uh, and they moved it here in 1845. I don't know why. Why didn't you just leave it where it was? OK, let's go through the arch, see what's up here. I think this is going to be a bit of a park area. Oh, you can see the church. Oh, that's oh, beautiful. Oh, wow. OK, the church is there. Yeah, let's go up here. You can see it better. I do like this. They have tried to put a heritage trail in the town. Well, they've obviously got some heritage, so... Yeah. <laughs> I did look it up last night. It didn't yeah. look amazing, but it's nice that there is one. Yeah. It says here we've got to look out for the bronze floor plaques, so we'll keep his eye out for them. This is saying that the Norman arch just down there is the last remaining part of the original church. So this is all newer. But I'd say some of it is still pretty old, Mazzy. It's nice. It's lovely. It's open. Should we go in? Just have a Let's peek. have a peek. <laughs> we can <do> jinx. <laughs> we're just going to go into the church, but there is a service on. Yeah. We were invited in to we the were. service. We were invited in, um, yes. Finishes in about 45 minutes. 45 minutes. So. We said we might go back, which yeah. we won't. We uh, might. It, it actually looks like a nice church inside. It's not what yeah. you expect. Oh, yeah, we looked here last night, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, and I just saw it. Okay. I do think it's worth a look. You liked this tree, didn't oh, you? I like them, yeah, I love these trees. I forget what it's called, though, and you're not telling me. Do you want me to tell you what it's called? Go on. Is it a monkey? No, that's correct. It's a monkey tree. Oh, it monkey. is? A monkey puzzle tree, I think that's they call them. That's a good one. Let's have a look here, a graveyard as well. So we're just going through the graveyard now. Look at all the crosses just laying down. Someone needs to spend a bit of time in here, I think. It just goes on and on and on and on. We can't even find the end of it. it like Church is well over there. It's huge. We found this in the middle. I don't know what this yeah. is. It's like a mini church in the churchyard. Be like your ser where you have service, I suppose, or back in the day. But why wouldn't you have your service in the church? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah. There's got to be a story behind this building. Let's try and get in. The only one thing I would say is, it's a lovely graveyard and it is huge, but I do feel the community, local community, needs to come down here and help tidy it up. I think vandals have done vandals this. Vandals have smashed up a lot of this. There's it's not too many, yeah. too many knocked over stones for it yeah. just to be a natural and wind it's quite or something. Sad, isn't it? Mm. Anyway, let's go round. It's an art centre, Chapel Arts Studios. Education. And this is the only arty thing I can see, one on each side, and a lovely pink door. I think it's nice to make use of this, these old buildings like that, though. That's obviously for the community, isn't it, to go 
yeah, doing a little but, arts group and stuff. But if I'd have known that's what it was, I yeah. wouldn't have walked all the way over to it. <laughs> so just coming back through the town, mm -hmm. we found one of the heritage trail markers. Yeah. And this is the one for the Angel Inn. So I've just looked the Angel Inn up. An Angel Inn up, in up, in up. I've looked it up. <laughs> and they're not the only famous kings and queens who stayed here, Mazzy. Which is getting me a bit mad, really. You've also got Edward the First, Edward the Second, and Henry the Seventh. They're not on the list. Why aren't they on the list? They stayed here. They might have been here. Got too drunk and then got banned. Okay, we're coming to the Chandlery Centre. Yeah, well, there was nowhere else really to go. <laughs> this is the first ever shopping centre I've ever been in, which is downhill. It's not flat. No, it's not. <laughs> we're actually on a hill yeah. going down here. It's quite nice though. Oh, look at Jenny's restaurant. I've never seen that before. Jenny's. I wouldn't call it a restaurant, it's more of a cafe, a very, very rough looking one. It's not rough. It's not rough, it looks nice. Look at a happy man. The end, I even model railway. Railway. I'm not a train spotter or anything. Oh, you're not, no. But they sell all like train sets and tr making train things and stuff like that, and they've got the class 47 down here. It's called the Revenge. Oh no, that's a 50. It's got a 50 there, they've got a 47 there. 50 there called the Eagle. A 33. Which is that one? The Burn Star. Yeah, let's leave it. There's a 31 there, 40 quid. Honey, you can actually meet up with them every Wednesday night and talk about trains for all your heart's content. There's another 47 there, but that one's a grey one, that's nice. Right, let's go, let's go. Oh, let's just leave him there. I just saw all this down here. It's all like kids' size tables and chairs and some really cool, comfy looking ones there. And it's storytelling. Storytelling. How the lovely is that? Term. That's really, really nice. What a great idea. Yeah. They've also actually got behind us, we can't film it. It's like a play cafe. And yeah. the mummies come in with the push chairs and they sit down, have a little gossip. It's such a lovely little thing, isn't it? I oh. Oh, the daddy's going with the kids. The yeah. daddy's playing, yeah, the kids sorry, sit down and, and have a coffee. And daddy's, sorry, it's not just for mummies. <laughs> Do you like that shop, Mazzy? I've seen some strange shops, okay. I thought this was another one. What did you call it? I thought it was the vacation centre. The vacation centre? Mazzy wanted to go in the vacation centre. It's, uh, it's a vaccination centre. <laughs> So I've just been in another card shop. Yeah, got what I wanted though. <laughs> I found a brilliant card. It was a birthday card. It says, yeah. you share your birthday with about 18 million other people, so you're really not that special. I quite like that. That's horrible. <laughs> I'd hate to get that. <laughs> Do you think that's true? I have got that for next year. I'm going to try them, because we've run out of blue for us cassette and as more to home. And until we get some more, yeah. I'm wondering if they'll work. They're not a decent brand, but for a pound twenty-nine, it's worth a try. It's worth a go. I've also picked up a couple of these. Can never get enough of these. These are fantastic for the motorhome. Brilliant. For in the wardrobes to stop yes. the damp. Brilliant. These are. So we've seen a sign for somewhere which is really exciting me. Yes. It's called the Geek Emporium. 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 <laughs> emporium or emporium? I think it's emporium. It's emporium. It's, I've never heard of the word emporium. What is it? Tell us in the comments. Is yeah. it emporium or emporium? I know it's spelt emporium, but don't you say it emporium? No. no. Okay. Uh, let me just show you what Dan bought. Look. Who remembers these? Nobody, because these are. Well, they are. Chip, sport yeah. and vinegar. Sport and vinegar. I'm looking forward to knowing what that's all about. <laughs> I'm sure it's the same thing. The Geek yeah, Emporium. I told you it would be your kind of I can thing. see Spider-Man and Batman. So it's not the town hall, what I was talking about. It's the guild hall. And it's for hire. You can hire it out. It looks like they do things like flea markets and stuff in there. We do like to look in the windows of these. Sometimes they have camera equipment though, don't they? Look, they've got a Canon lens there and they've got a, mic, a radio mic. Rode I've got mic, one of them. Uh, have you? The mic? That yeah, one, have I've you? got one of them. Just at a florist's. I've never seen one of them before. That's really nice. Twenty-five pounds. Oh what? This plant here. It's oh. like a cabbage. Oh yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So we're just going down the corners, uh, little side streets now, aren't we? Because there's quite yeah. 
It's actually quite, quite a Quite a few. Here. Look, turn around. Look. This is quite quirky, isn't it? Quite a bit, yeah. I think that's where we're parked, actually. Oh, yeah. We like this. Yeah, it's certainly different for a shoe shop. It's a shoe <laughs> repair shop, but they actually sell things as well. Hobnails, traditional shoe repairs. There's a man, it's a proper, like, clog placey back thing back there. But selling things in the window. Is he selling them, though? I'm guessing what so. do you think is for sure? You've got here, one of the oldest train sets I've ever seen in my life. That looks fantastic. Yeah. Have you seen the car up here? Fire engine look. Oh yeah, there's a car out there. Look. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Oh yeah. yeah. What's that? Yeah. Where's that? Is that Wembley? Last but not least, Siam Orchid Thai restaurant looks very nice. Weatherspoons looks disgusting from the back, but it looks pretty cool from the front. It didn't look that great. Weatherspoons are known for getting the best building in the town, and if that's... No, I wasn't keen on it. <laughs> um, what did you think of the place? Andover? Not rubbish. It's, it's all just, right. To me, it's just town. Get your essentials. It's just town. It's not bad, though. It has got bad. a tiny bit of history. It has got a church which we didn't even get in. No. Uh, kings and queens have stayed at the Angel Pub. Um, I liked it. It was all right. I, I did feel it was definitely a little bit rougher than the one we went to yesterday. I mean, yesterday was that was also on the worst list. Yeah. But um, today, yeah, I did feel that little bit of roughness. I didn't until just then. We just had a little incident with four <laughs> local scabby, horrible kids, <laughs> whatever. Um, and and I thought they were just taking Mickey because I was filming. But apparently they said something about Mazzy and yeah, I didn't hear it. Yeah, but anyway, it don't matter. But it has been the, also the first place I've felt a little bit uncomfortable parking the motorhome here. Hmm. I'll be honest, so... Yeah, no, I'm happy with the place. It's all yeah, right. It's I, not, it's I, could, not... I could live here, but I'd prefer... Not to. Yesterday's. <laughs> yesterday's was a, a bit... It's a bit... What's the word I'm looking for? It just doesn't feel very... Clean, not clean. Not well looked after. It, it's, it, it certainly isn't the worst. You know how in a lot of market towns you do get um, bags of rubbish round the back of the shops and things? There's a lot of that here. Well, that's to be expected. Mm. Yeah. But anyway, I don't think this is going to be a full video, so we might no. just take you along for a little bit longer today. We'll see. See what we get up to. Right, we're off to Tesco's now to get our daily supplies. Just to let you know, it is actually free parking here with a disabled badge all day. Or we, think, we think it is, we're not sure. Oh, I thought you read the sign. No, I think it is. Oh, or it's only three quid anyway per space per day. So that's not bad either. I'm just going to show you outside the window just so you can get a feel for the town as we're heading towards Tesco. Tesco's. Tesco's we've actually decided both of us isn't too keen on our tonight's um, world camping are we I what no you made it clear to me that one spot was going to have ravers Gary boys all night long they had some reviews saying they it is known for it because it's the white horse you know the white horse which is on the hill and stuff um, a lot of people go there yeah, I just uh, and you're tired anyway. Anyway, we need we do need to actually go and get get some gas, which is can I just add, actually affecting to what we pick for our dinners for the day, isn't it? Yes. It's so we really need to go and get that. We need toilet um, chemicals and maybe get a load of washing done as well. So you'll get what? Well, maybe. The thing is with the motorhome and camping club, motorhome and caravanning club at the moment. They haven't got any gas and they haven't got a shop, so they're not selling the chemical blue which we need. Yeah. Um, it's because they're out of season. They said it might be a few weeks yet. Uh, so we're having to go with the camping and caravanning club, the other club, hoping they've got some gas. And toilets. And stuff. toilet. Oh, blue. yeah, and some um, tank freshener stuff as well for the waste tank. It's just constant 
got uh, Money. expense in it. Yeah. <laughs> let's go fill yeah, the let's tank up. Go and then we'll show you what we have for tea tonight. Yeah. First things first. Fill up with diesel. Hasn't the diesel price gone horrendous? It's uh, I think it's one fifty at the moment. One pound fifty um, at Tesco's. Per litre. Fill it right up. No, I put hundred in it. Oh. Hey, we're on campsite. And I am actually getting some washing done. I've actually done one load. I've probably got another two left. But I'm going to try and put it into one. Dan's saying I'm not going to get me washing done. <laughs> and actually, yeah, I did have a lot more than planned. So, right, here we go. Right, I'm going to just set, get my washing out and then put it in the tumble. Not sure if I'm actually going to get all this in here. wondering where we've come well we've actually came to a Salisbury club site we're actually near Stonehenge Stonehenge very near Stonehenge we couldn't get gas they haven't got gas but we can get toilet fluid at five pound cash I don't know if you've got cash have you honey <sighs> I might have five pounds I just don't know what we're gonna get for five pounds because it's normally about eleven pounds it's usually even more than that really isn't it yeah the best thing about this campsite is where we are oh it's beautiful do you want to take them out i haven't really well i wanted to know the name of this fort and i can't remember its name well i should have found out anyway there is like a castle fort thing and we're facing it old sarum has yeah. just told me see it up there like a little hill fort and i do believe it's a visitor's attraction as well you can go up there and have a look round. We won't be doing that because we're doing the towns, but it does look lovely. It's a really nice, peaceful site. We're happy here. You knew, didn't you? What, you're angry? No, you knew I that... knew, I had to show them what we yeah. had for tea, yeah. Because I've got something special today. It's what he always has. This is what Dan's got today. I've never had one of them in my life. Charlie Bingham, though. You've had Charlie Bingham. Charlie Bingham's. I keep telling everyone you have to get Charlie Bingham. You're going to have to hit that up. Just if you've never had a Charlie Bingham's after I've told you to get Charlie Bingham's, then I'm very disappointed in you. Yes. Um, it's called, this one is a Meatballs Al Fon Forno for two people. For <laughs> Just for Dan. <laughs> Look at that. Can you see it? Let's get it in the light, Mazzy. Let's really give Let's them a good the look. On. Look at that. Look at that. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And with that, the cheapest garlic bread you can ever buy, but I can make it nice. She can. Yeah, right, so what have I got? I'm having wraps today. 
vegetable, uh, lettuce. I can never say this word. Fally, fally bells. I call them fally bells. She's uh, having a wrap. Boring. With mozzarella uh, little pearls and a yogurt on the side. Dan did actually buy this today. This, you don't know what it is. We've never seen this before. No, what is you it? You forgot about that, didn't you? I did. Um, cooked bacon rib. It looks strange. So it must be a cow, a pig's rib. A cow? <laughs> a pig's rib, so yeah, that's something we can just nibble on. Yeah. Uh, I'll have that in bed watching the football tonight because it's Liverpool. Football. Liverpool. Oh, which reminds me, we won't be going live this Sunday because it's... The Cup Final! Yes, so It's obviously. Liverpool and Chelsea in the Cup Final, so I'm I'm buzzing about that. Um, we have been told that we, we can get gas tomorrow, haven't we? So hopefully, hopefully, yeah. Gonna chance cooking it tonight. Oh, uh, what else did I want to tell them? Oh, Patreon video, one came out, I think I put it on a day late. A Patreon and family members video. It might not gone on till Monday night, I'm not sure, but it's on now. So if you are a patron or a family Did you member. Put it on late? I'm not sure. I think patrons got it on time. I think family members got it late. Oh, you need to get this right. Every Sunday we are going to be having a video for Patron video patron and family, family members. Yeah. And if you'd like to join, please uh the link is in the description as well. For both. Yeah, and yeah. thank you all for all our new um memberships as well yeah had we've quite had quite a, a lot this month yeah. we haven't had any in the last week i don't think but before no. that we've had quite a lot so we do appreciate you and really remember do. we will put your name as well in the credits if it's on the what is it the gold gold, tier gold members yeah <laughs> what i will be doing i had a few spare mushrooms so i slice those up and i'm gonna just um kind of saute them i say saute i'm just lightly cooking these and then i'm actually going to add them into dan's charlie bingham's meal and pop it in the oven saute sauteed saute you saute them you don't saute them saute saute we're saying the same word you do realize that yeah saute 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 so I've got three fally bells on there for my wrap. I've got Dan's meal there ready to be put in the oven. His bacon ribby thing definitely needs to go into the oven. They're sautéed off. Just put, just put them on the tray. I was going to put them into uh, this actual dish, but I think what I'll do is just put them in the oven like that and put them on the side. He'll love it. Sorted. How's that? Sorted.